Did you know that there's a mysterious area in space where astronauts are unable to communicate with home base? They're exposed to extreme levels of radiation and their spaceships start to malfunction. It's being dubbed the Bermuda Triangle of Space. This area has perplexed scientists for decades, but astronomers may have finally solved this outer space anomaly. What exactly is the Bermuda Triangle of Space anyway? Well, its official name is the South Atlantic Anomaly, or SAA for short. It's hovering above the South Atlantic, stretching from Chile to Zimbabwe, and this area has a considerably weaker magnetic field when compared to the rest of the Van Allen radiation belt. The Van Allen radiation belt is a pair of cosmic donuts surrounding Earth. This is a unique location where the radiation belt comes closest to the Earth's surface. These belts trap particles that shoot from the sun, which protects the Earth from harmful radiation. The solar radiation within the South Atlantic anomaly isn't held back to the same degree, though. But why? Well, to explain that, first, let's dive into what happens if you wander into this terrifying part of our solar system. You know, trying to solve this Bermuda Triangle of space it really sparked a mystery craving for the What If team. So we played Hunt a Killer's Dead Below Deck at a recent games day. This game is filled with suspicious characters and intriguing evidence, all of which had us feeling like we were the world's greatest detectives. The game doesn't have any rules and it doesn't have any time constraints. It's just you and your friends, a slew of clues and a mystery waiting to be unraveled. My favorite part was how immersive it was. Some versions even have things like AI chats and real actors to make the game more interactive. They've got single box cases, multi-part sagas, and six or 12 month subscriptions. And if you ever get stuck, you just hit up the spoiler-free online community for help. It's ideal for game nights, dates, family fun, whatever you want. Get your Dead Below Deck game from Amazon, Target, or Walmart today. And Thanks to Hunt a Killer for sponsoring this episode. Now, let's see if we can solve this space Bermuda Triangle mystery. The SAA is known for causing electronic malfunctions in spaceships and extreme radiation exposure for astronauts. It can completely destroy spacecraft. In 2016, the Japanese satellite Hitomi came crashing down to Earth after satellite operators began getting mixed signals from the ship. It was reporting inaccurate data about how it was performing up in space, making people down on Earth think that everything was fine. But this was happening as it traveled through the SAA, so operators weren't aware that there was a problem and couldn't take steps to correct it. The Hubble telescope, luckily, has managed to avoid any issues while traveling through the SAA. That's despite spending a whopping 15% of its time in the space anomaly. To protect the telescope, satellite operators power it down. If they didn't, the SAA could corrupt any precious data that's being collected and potentially crash. But how do astronauts deal with these heavy levels of radiation? Well, their radiation levels are constantly being monitored. So if they do end up in the anomaly, they have what's known as a water wall. Certain rooms on ships are filled with these massive bags of water, and if you stand behind them, they'll protect you from radiation. Water is the best thing to shield you from this harmful energy because of its high hydrogen content. Now, if they didn't have this water wall, they could get severe radiation poisoning or even cancer. So we know the radiation levels are much higher and more dangerous in this specific part of space, but why is it happening in the first place? Well, despite what pictures might show you, Earth isn't completely round. It bulges around the center, like me. And because of this, the Earth's physical center and its magnetic center are slightly off by about 500 kilometers. This offset means things like cosmic rays can get closer to the Earth's surface near the bulging area. Luckily, the Earth's magnetic bubble can still keep all those dangerous rays from getting to us, but that's not the case for people in space above the South Atlantic. Because of this, stronger radiation levels can reach this point up in space. And what's even more concerning, due to the fact that the magnetic poles here on Earth are constantly changing, the South Atlantic anomaly keeps growing. It's also gotten weaker by 15%, meaning the radiation has gotten stronger in the area. 
So NASA has been carefully monitoring the SAA since 2019. They've noticed that the anomaly is moving west. And what's even weirder, the anomaly is also splitting in two. If this continues, it could make things even more complicated regarding space travel and data collection. But luckily, for it to change significantly would take millions, if not billions, of years. So, this Bermuda Triangle of space isn't as mysterious as it sounds, and astronomers are getting better at handling it with every new ship launch and every piece of data recorded. This would probably become a way bigger problem if the Earth's magnetic poles suddenly flipped. But that's a story for another What If.